Mount Etna was quiet. Not silent, but quiet in the way a sleeping giant is quiet, breathing beneath the surface, shifting beneath the darkness, waiting for something. For weeks, the mountain had been rumbling with those subtle, almost shy tremors that only instruments could notice. Nothing violent, nothing dramatic, just enough movement to remind everyone that this volcano, towering over Sicily like a watchful guardian, never truly rests. But then, in a single moment, one that would send shockwaves across Italy, the mountain revealed something no one expected. It began before sunrise, when the sky was still a bluish black, and the only lights were the faint glows of small villages scattered across the hillside. A deep vibration rolled underfoot, not sharp, not loud, but heavy. A low, resonant sound, like the earth clearing its throat. People living near Etna said they felt the ground pulse, once, twice, like something was pushing upward from beneath them. Dogs began barking, birds lifted from the trees in sudden flocks, and then came the roar. It didn't sound like an explosion. It sounded like the mountain was tearing itself open. A fissure split across Etna's upper flank, stretching out from the crater like a lightning strike, carved into solid rock. It wasn't gradual. It wasn't slow. It was as if the earth decided in one instant to release what it had been holding back. A deep red glow appeared along the crack, faint at first, then growing brighter, almost breathing, like the heartbeat of the volcano suddenly visible through its skin. People miles away saw the glow before they heard the sound. The sky turned red with a pulse of light that looked unreal, almost staged. What no one knew yet was that this was not a normal vent opening. This wasn't Etna doing what Etna always does. This was something new, something large. Within minutes, the crack widened. Chunks of black rock fell into the opening, swallowed by rising magma. A second vent opened just meters away, spraying incandescent fragments high into the air, like sparks blasting out of a furnace. The molten rock wasn't flowing from the top of the crater as it usually did. It was pushing out from the newly formed side vents, creating a curtain of glowing orange tearing through the dark. Scientists monitoring the volcano from the INGV observatory scrambled to understand what was happening. Graphs on their screens surged wildly. Tremor levels shot upward in steep spikes. Ground deformation sensors lit up across the network and pressure readings hinted at a major shift deep inside Etna's magma chamber. But the most shocking moment came when drones sent to investigate the main crater returned images no one expected. The crater floor had collapsed inward. A cavity, massive, circular, glowing from the inside, had formed beneath the main opening. It was as if the ground had dropped into a chamber of molten fire. The collapse created more, pressure along the flank, pushing magma sideways instead of upward, and that sideways pressure forced open the new fissures. Two vents became three, then four. Suddenly Etna wasn't erupting from a single point. It was erupting from a line. The sight was unreal. Lava fountains shot meters into the air, swirling in arcs that illuminated the entire mountainside. Ash billowed upward like a dark, twisting pillar. Rivers of lava began crawling downhill, slow but unstoppable, lighting the ground with a deep, molten glow that turned night into a fiery orange dawn. Residents from nearby towns stepped outside, staring in disbelief as the mountain they had known their entire lives transformed into something ancient and powerful, a reminder that Earth itself is alive beneath their feet. Farmers rushed to move livestock farther from the slopes. Roads leading up the mountain were closed. Emergency crews began preparing for possible evacuations, even as authorities tried to calm rising fear. In the villages closest to Etna, people pulled out their phones and began recording. The videos captured the raw force of the eruption, an entire hillside glowing, fire shooting straight into the air, a plume of ash spiraling upward like a black storm cloud. The fissure line looked like the mountain had been cut open with a blade of fire, and every few seconds, another explosion, another burst, 
another shower of molten rock. The drone sent higher revealed the full scale of what had happened. Along Etna's southeastern flank, a brand new crack nearly a kilometer long stretched like a scar across the mountain. From this scar, multiple vents were now active, each one blasting out its own column of glowing lava. It was one of the largest fissural events seen on Etna in years. But scientists weren't alarmed by the lava. Etna's lava, for all its drama, is typically slow-moving and predictable. What caught their attention was the pattern of the vents, the alignment, the speed with which they formed, the sudden drop of the crater floor, and the deep harmonic tremor humming beneath everything. It suggested movement deep inside the volcano, something shifting or rising from beneath. As dawn finally broke, the sky turned the color of smoke-stained gold. The lava continued to fountain. Ash drifted over nearby towns, settling like dark snow on rooftops and cars. The air smelled of sulfur and heat. The sound, that constant rumble, now mixed with booming gas explosions inside the vents, echoed for miles. People watching from the foothills said it felt like standing inside the heartbeat of the earth. But despite the scale, despite the spectacle, there was something mesmerizing about it, nature revealing its power in the most dramatic way possible. A reminder of how small human beings truly are, compared to the forces beneath them. By mid-morning, geologists confirmed what many suspected. This was not a simple eruption. This was a structural change in the mountain itself. The split across Etna's crater was now clearly visible, a jagged glowing wound, and the new vents were feeding directly from the pressurized magma rising along the fracture. The event was powerful, yes, but stable in its own strange way. The magma had found a path of least resistance. It wasn't exploding outward, it was releasing. That's why, even as the world began sharing videos of the glowing fissure, scientists expressed something unusual, relief. Pressure was being released steadily instead of building towards something catastrophic. Etna was behaving like a pressure valve, opening where it needed to open. Still, the sight of a mountain splitting open was enough to send a chill through anyone watching. As the day went on, the lava flows thickened, the fountains pulsed, and the sky over Sicily remained streaked red long after sunrise. Thousands of people watched from a safe distance, sensing that they were witnessing a historic moment, a moment when Mount Etna, the most active volcano in all of Europe, reminded the world of its strength. And deep inside the mountain, beneath the rocks and magma and fire, the earth continued its ancient process, moving, shifting, reshaping itself, one glowing fissure at a time.